Hello there. Uh, many of you have a old Weller soldering iron, soldering gun, and these little bulbs are quite expensive to find if you can find them nowadays. But it's only about two volts because it comes off a winding on the uh, transformer there. <laughs> this soldering iron or soldering gun I've had since I was a kid. My dad bought this in the 60s for me because I used to ruin his screwdrivers heating them up in the flames on the stove to solder with. So he bought me this to uh, prevent ruining all the, his screwdrivers. And uh, <clears throat> I decided I would convert it to LED because my old light is burned out and the, the lights are pretty expensive. So what I did, took out the old socket and I just put some shrink tubing on the wires and tucked them in to get them out of the way. Got two LEDs back to back because that gives you more light and then you don't have to put a diode. The wire comes down under the switch over here. I got a 0.1 microfarad 600 volt capacitor and a 470 ohm resistor in series with the lights and it's just wired between the line cord and one terminal on the switch. It doesn't matter which one you use because they both uh, are connected to the uh, windings when you power this thing up. It's a two-speed 140 and 100 watts. The schematic is basically that. It's basically one mic 0.1 microfarad cap 470 ohm resistor and then the two LEDs back to back. LEDs don't like reverse current, reverse voltage. So you would normally you if you wanted one LED you'd have to put another diode in the opposite polarity to block the reverse current. But this way the other diode just conducts and then you've got both diodes providing light rather than half wave and a diode blocking. And I set it up on my little perf board there just to uh, project board just to see that it worked okay before I put it in. And if I carefully apply power to the switch here, you can see and it doesn't really change brightness when you uh, put it on the power and it seems to work great. And now I'm very happy I have light on my soldering iron, soldering gun. Uh, you know, this is not one that I use very often, but it's in old, old radio repairs and things when you need a lot of power because the old, the 40 year old Weller uh, WTCP, it, it's only 48 watts and it can't put a lot of power, but uh, this one here is good for this. I also have uh, the bigger one that's, I think, 240 watts, uh, soldering a gun that I bought at a flea market. I haven't put LEDs in it yet because I hardly ever used it, but one day maybe I'll do the same. But anyway, there's the, uh, the schematic. It's very simple. You just take out the socket. Heat shrink on the wires, two LEDs back to back. The pair of wires comes down under the switch, goes to the cap of the resistor, connected to the line and one side of the switch. And you're good to go.